Well, Beaverton's school board is banking on a yes in tomorrow's special election. Leaders say support for a school levy there is crucial to ease an epidemic of crowded classrooms. Please vote yes. This video shot by students in Raleigh Hills says they already don't get enough time with their teachers. They say without the levy, things will only get worse. Meantime, those urging a no vote say their taxes are already too high. Carla Castaño is live in Beaverton with this heated dispute on education funding. Carla? We're here at Westview High School where students tell me that their classes are overcrowded and they say without this levy passing, things are just going to continue to get out of control. It's absolutely insane. And to remember kids' names, even. Malia Heights geometry classroom has 47 students. I used to think a class of 32 was ridiculously large, and now 32 would be a dream. <laughs> but a nightmare could be coming her way if the Beaverton levy doesn't pass Tuesday night. Due to repeated state shortfalls over the last five years, Beaverton has cut $142 million and 640 teacher positions. The teachers like don't have enough time and they don't even know what they're like who's in their classes. They just have to kind of teach the big group. While we were in Heights classroom, her desk was constantly surrounded by students and the room was jam-packed full of desks. It's physically hard to get around. Many classes in Beaverton are in the 50s and only expected to increase next year if the levy doesn't pass, causing outrage for parents. It's insanely frustrating. Karen Servant has two kids in the school district, a 15-year-old and a 10-year-old. We actually moved here from Portland School District because specifically we wanted the good schools that Beaverton offered. And so it's been really sad to see that the schools have changed so much from my older son to my younger son. The levy costs $1.25 per $1,000 of assessed property value. While some homeowners just can't add any more property taxes, the equation in Mrs. Heights classroom isn't working out either. It's just really hard to make sure you meet the individual needs of each student when there's so many. We're told 100% of the levy funds will stay in the Beaverton School District and go to solely funding teachers. Live in Beaverton, Carla Castaño, Coin 6 News. Thank you, Carla. And stay tuned to Coin 6 for coverage of tomorrow night's special election. Now, Portland voters will decide whether to add fluoride to the water and whether to renew the Portland's children's levy, funding 57 programs to help kids in need. And in Clackamas County, they're voting on whether to use county resources for a TriMet light rail expansion.